When you're replacing your ABS control module, make sure that the key is off. If it is not, you will throw all kinds of other error codes that you will need to chase down and erase. If you replace the model with a new one, you will need to have it coded. If you have your original repaired, you do not need to have it coded after you reinstall it. This photo illustrates under the hood on the right side looking at the ABS ASC module. With a flathead screwdriver, lever on the slide lock in the direction of the blue arrow that holds the connector to the module. Once you have moved the slide lock all the way to the end, pull straight up on the connector to unplug the unit. Facing the ABS module, locate the six T20 torque fasteners, green arrows, that mount the module to the hydraulic unit. Remove the six T20 torque module fasteners. Make sure the torque bit is fully seated in the fastener head. You do not want to strip any of these screws. Pull the module away from the hydraulic unit in the direction of the blue arrow. Do not leave this area exposed to the elements. If you are sending the module out to be repaired or remanufactured, cover the hydraulic unit with a plastic bag to reduce exposure to moisture. Locate the brake pressure switch green arrow on the back side of the ABS hydraulic unit. The brake pressure switch is a three wire sensor. Wire colors may vary with your year, but look on the electrical connector or inside the brake switch and locate the pin numbers. Our 97540i followed the wire colors. Pin 1, white wire with blue tracer, green arrow, is the ground wire. Pin 2, blue wire with black tracer, red arrow, is the signal wire. Pin 3, black wire with violet tracer, yellow arrow, is the 5 volt reference. Connect the red test lead to pin 3 and the black test lead to pin 1 and turn the ignition switch on. Be careful not to allow the two terminals to touch, otherwise the 5 volt reference will be pulled to ground and you will set a code in the ABS system that will have to be cleared with a capable scan tool. Turn on the ignition switch and you should read 5 volts on the meter. You may want to shut off the ignition switch to change the test lead locations. When you are done, turn the ignition switch back on. Move the red test lead to pin number 2 and keep the black test lead in pin 1 for the ground. With little residual pressure in the brake hydraulic system, your meter should read approximately 0.5 volts. Here our meter reads 0.59, which is okay. Either use long test leads so you can hook in the meter while you're applying the brake pedal, or have someone help you and step on the brake pedal gradually. Have someone inside the car apply the brake pedal with the ignition key on, but the engine off. As the brakes are applied, the brake pressure sensor signal voltage will increase to approximately 1.7 volts. The harder the brakes are pressed, the higher the signal voltage. Start the engine and apply the brake pedal. Be careful to keep the test leads and body parts away from the front of the engine so you and they are not struck by moving parts. The meter should read approximately 2.8 volts. The increase in brake pressure is from the vacuum booster adding additional force with the engine running. The problem these modules suffer is the 5 volt reference drops out. This may be momentary, so you would have to be watching your meter when it happens or have more sophisticated electrical equipment to capture the drop in voltage. Test the brake switch and if the brake switch works properly then you should look into getting your brake module serviced or replaced. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.